this is Judy from YNC Comics and today I have a very special episode at least special for me I hope it is for you because it was special for Google enough that they actually did a, a little homage if you go into Google today at the U in the USA page you will see um, a cartoon of Roberto Gomez Bolaños in honor of his 91st birthday and you may wonder who is that well, he was the creator of a Mexican uh, TV series called El Chavo del Ocho, which was um, the the young guy from apartment number eight. It is about a, a young guy that is an orphan, and he lives in apartment number eight, but the apartment complex that he lives only goes up to number seven. And he lives in a bucket or something like this. You'll go there and you'll see it. He lives in a barrel, and that becomes apartment number eight. <laughs> and it's actually a pretty nice storyline. Anyway, why am I sharing this with you today? Well, it's very simple. He created a lot of characters between this TV series. One of them was that a Chavo, or the young man, he will actually come out reading comic books. And this comic books was of a superhero called El Chapulín Colorado. And long story short, I was able to find a couple of these comic books and I want to share them with you today on what will have been his 91st birthday. I also want to share with you what's in these little boxes that I have not opened because I wanted to do it on a special day such as today. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy this as much as I am going to enjoy it. Okay, I am so excited about this box and I you probably saw my reaction when I first opened the books because these books are actually smaller than the typical comic books that you see and they're in such a delicate um, They're so delicate and they are from the 70s. I mean they came out between the 70s and the 80s I grew up watching the TV series, so I have never seen the actual comic books I've only heard of them and I've been following them so I was really excited to see the comic books and I just these are these are comic books from Mexico so the first thing I wanted to find out is if the CGC actually will grade such comic books and I just want you to see it's probably the way you feel when you find one of your favorite comic books of your uh, of your most popular um, characters from Marvel or DC but for us that grew up in Latin America and we're little kids in the 80s we only heard of the comic books i have never seen the comic books so i was really excited to see this little box to open these comic books with you and um this one right here is el chapulín colorado which is the superhero that el chavo read comic books off in his tv in the tv show and um this one is number 300 of year seven so there might be more out there. There is a lot more out there, but this is what I was able to find. This one is El Chavo del Ocho, and it's number 300 as well. And uh, they're in such a delicate state that I do not want to be touching them too much, but I do want to get them graded. So I went into the CGC census to find out if these comic books were rated before by the CGC. And lo and behold, yes, they've been graded before by the CGC. So, in the census, I was able to find out that they only have seven copies of, uh, actually, yeah, seven copies of El Chavo del Ocho. So, mine will be number eight. And ten copies of the Chapulín Colorado. And for those that are wondering, what is Chapulín? It's grasshopper. In Mexico, they call uh, grasshoppers Chapulines. So, you have to read more about this character, but he's a superhero that becomes technically like Ant or Adam. He becomes a miniature. Uh, along the way of his superpowers that's one of his superpowers and that's where the word chapulín comes from because he becomes a little like a grasshopper uh anyway i'm so excited that the cgc creates this there's only 10 of el chavo uh, uh, 10 of el chapulín and eight uh seven of el chavo so mine will be 
number eight. And my chapulín will be number 11. Uh, what grade I will get, I don't know. They are in very uh, poor conditions, I will say that. But I'm excited to send them to the CGC and find out what grade they'll give me. Uh, what's exciting too is that I was able to find some pops of uh, these beautiful memories I have from my childhood. And here is El Chavo del Ocho, or the kid number eight. The kid from number eight, that's really what it means, the translation. Uh, and this one is number 751. And here is the other pop of El Chapulín Colorado, which is the red grasshopper if you want to translate it. And um, this one is number 752. So anyway, friends, I shared this with you and it's a special uh, uh, episode for me because I grew up watching this TV show in Latin America. So I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that grew up watching these shows. You still see them today. Uh, recently, if you go to Google, you'll find out more about this. But there was an animated series called El Chavo del Ocho from 2006 to 2014. So even our next generation is finding out more about El Chavo del Ocho and all the contributions of this great writer and creator, which was um, Roberto uh, Gomez Bolaños, whose 91st birthday would have been today. So anyway, thank you for joining me in this, uh, in this train of memories. <laughs> and I am so excited about this fight. Um, I can't wait to share with you the great ones I send them back, uh, once I get them back from the CGC. So stay tuned if you want to find out more about the great of these comic books and the way the CGC handles them because they're a little bit different. Alright, this was it for today. Don't forget to follow us and subscribe at YNC Comics on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Until next time.